So good day guys, in this video I will be teaching you how to create a Unity 8 account, that's Unity 8 account. So what you have to do, just go to your Chrome and search for Unity ID as you can see here. If you not see it, just search for this uh, URL here, copy that URL and search on it. The URL will be in the description of this video. Then click on Unity ID, uh, this one, this Unity ID, click on create a unity id account so once you click on it it's going to open a page like you to fill in your email your username your phone name and your password but in a quick start just click on google you want to send with google because you can actually use google facebook or either the app store login something like that but just click on this google so once you click on google it will ask you to choose an account so it will ask you to choose your Jimmy account. So I'll be choosing a Jimmy account right now, as you are going to be see on one of my email accounts. So I'll be choosing one. So I'll click on that very one I want to use. If you don't have a Jimmy account, you're supposed to have a Jimmy account. So just create a Jimmy account and use it. So we are telling you that you should please agree with the term and condition. You click on the agree button there, then click on continue. So you click on continue so we just wait up for him to load up so it's loading up so we take you to this very page yeah you have already created the account very very simple we will take you to this very page here yeah? so we will tell you that the there's a free training of 600 and 400 dollar you don't need that part just keep it off you can read it up later then these are your details what i want you to do now is to click on this part this very very part here okay this icon here click on it that icon so once you click on it you open a profile like this yeah we open a profile like this so i want you to click uh unity dashboard unity dashboard uh this is unity dashboard so you click on unity dashboard and just wait for it to load up just wait for it to load up just wait for it to load up it's loading so it's open and it asked me to accept this cookie this cookie down here as you can see there so i click on accept the cookie you click on accept all cookie then it will ask you to sign in you are going to sign in with that same email already you have already signed in so just click on sign in will take you to the unity dashboard so i click on sign in right now because i already have an account under it so you have to accept this thing. They say Unity has updated. They might tell you this. They might not tell you this. Anytime you are using this video, you might see this. You might not see this. So just click on, uh, click on the the accept button down here. Click on the accept button. So once you click on the accept button, it's going. Okay, it's accepting. So as you can see, it's loading. It's loading. It's going to open the dashboard for you right now. So. So we open a dashboard like this for you. We say welcome to Unity Unity Gaming Service. Wow, congratulations! You have created an account. So simple. So how to get your aid unit is this. So how to create your aid unit account is this. Follow me. Just follow my step now. So you click on create project. Create project. Yeah. So once you click on create project, you can take the author. But I already took the tour, so you can, if you choose, you can take that tour. So the name of this project, I uh, will be calling this project, uh, okay, Pokey Online Games, okay, Pokey Online Games. Then I'm going to click on this, uh, say with this project, be primary target to children under 18, depending on your project, but mine is no. So if you want to turn yours to yes, you can click this part and click on yes, but mine is no, so I'll leave it on no. Then I'll click on create project. I have seen the button down here, create project. So create the project. So the project is creating as you can see. Yeah, so you can see right here, the project is creating. The setup is going. Yeah. So you see your change was successfully applied. Wow, congratulations. You have simply created project here. Yeah. So this is the part where you'll be seeing your project, you can see your project has been created, working online game, and so on. So the next step for us to do, to get your aid units, you have to click on this, this place here. You have to click on this menu bar. So once you click on menu bar, okay, 
scroll down to the part that says monetization ads monetization ads so you click on monetization ads so click on it the monetization ads so when you click on the monetization ad it's going to open a section for you as you can see now so it's going to open a section like this as you can see it said get started so for here you will know how to integrate guide for unity integrate guide for ios for hundreds and you know everything what is you can just read all through to gain more understanding so me now i'm going to show you all you can do to get your aid unit set up so first of all you click on this part this very part here yeah this very part here get started so as you click on get started it's going to ask you do you want to use an ad setting for an existing project you don't have an existing project this is the first project i'm creating here so you just clicking they do already they already put it as default for you as no i want to start afresh then click on the next button the next button is hidden at this dump here so you click on the next button next so once you click on the next button it will ask you for mediation partner so this is your mediate part you see please select your mediation partner so we can show your relevant aid okay you see unity mediation i plan to use unity mediation to save aid to my project for multiple socks that is the benta then the number two which is here says i don't plan to use mediation this third, the third one is the third party so this part is actually asking you if you want to use another ad source for your app like using admob aid along with the unity aid or you are using iron source or startup aid but first of all i want you to know something about if you are using admob admob does not allow their aid and unity aid to be in the same application no they don't allow it they don't support it so if you are using admob you should not be using unity aid so click on this last one here this damn part say i want to use third party mediation such as because i'm not using only unity but if you are using only unity in your case you can just choose the second one or the first one but in my case i'm using the uh, i'm using startup aid or sometimes higher source aid also so i'll click on it then this down you will choose either add more mediation more pop mediation iron source mediation so you click on add mob just click on add more then click on next the next button at the done there uh you can see it uh, okay this part here so you click on next so once you click on next it will ask you a question the store id if your app has been published you see my app is listed on a supported app store like uh app store google play store or my app is not live in any store in this case this app is not live in any store so if your app is live in any store they will ask you for the url and you put it here so once you put it here it will be generated so my app is not published the app i'm using for this case study is not published so i'll click on this other part here map has not been published then you click on add projects look at the add projects uh this uh sorry at uh, this down part here sorry okay at uh, this down part here yeah so add projects so the project has been added and successfully created so at this part now okay yeah look at this say project successfully created uh this is your core id and uh okay create an api key you don't need all this you click on finish the project finish project so once you click on the finish project so once you click on the finish project i want to show you how to get your because this is your any platform now you have seen it now your age unit venue venue for your daily your scpn and everything will be showing at this very very part here as you can see so screw down screw down screw down to get your head unit screw up okay screw up then click on this uh, menu bar here you see the menu bar there you click on it so once you click on it okay it's loading up the menu bar so you click on aid units which is under the project overview aid units you click on aid units so once you click on aid units okay it's opening just wait eight units okay it's opening just wait 
so this aid unit is where you can get your aid unit and in uh in unity aid we need the unity id app id and the placement id that's the two things you need you need the app id and the placement and that's your game id and the placement id so this is your game id this is your game id this is your game id for android then this is your game id for ios if you are using android and you copy the one of ios it's not going to work out and if the the case of each is different so just use android for hundred and ios for hundred so in the case now i'm using android so you copy that one you'll be needing it then to create your aid unit yeah you just have to click on add aid unit sorry at this part here you click on this add aid unit button here uh this add aid unit bouncy so click on add aid unit then it will ask you what unit name the aid unit name i can put a uh, pokey Poke banner for that of banner you will do same case in the station rewarded the platform you click on this angle here it will ask you the platform so the platform is 100 then which aid format if it's rewarded aid you click on reward if it is statistician you click on the statistician and if it's banner add that ad you click on banner so in this case i'm creating banner you will do same for the rest of them the same thing if you're creating for that you click for that but in this case i'll be creating for just banner so create aid unit so you create the aid unit the aid unit has been created say go to placement management to create place so you click on the placement management click on the placement management there placement management So down here, they are going to show you tutorials on what you can be getting from this. They will show you tutorials on what you can be getting for this. Uh, that is here right now. As you can see, here right now. Yeah, this is the tutorial. But I don't need the tutorial. I'm going to click on the cancel button. Then to place your... Okay, like this person now uh, is kind of their robot that you can chat with for assistance. Yeah. So this is the banner we just created. As you can see, the Poké banner. That is this that we just created that is the that is the pokey banner we just created then you click on add placements as you can see add placements you click on add placements here yeah. add placements when you click on add placements there is your ecpn that you should be targeting global if you want to change the country region but may is in global cancel okay may is be global the name of this placement you can just give it uh the way of this placement is pokey pokey just give it pokey or any other name you want to give it so i'm screwing down okay i'm screwing down so i'm screwing down then you click on add uh, this sorry you click on add you click on add placement at this down part here Add placement so this add placement here this add placement here so to get your placement ID this is your placement ID like this here check here check here this place that say ID so just click on it click on this copy button now so once you click on this copy button you will just copy your placement ID because you'll be using that two parts your you'll be needing your ID and your placement id this is your placement id then this is your game id you need to learn this too because you'll be using them in your application so that's how to create a, a unity account and set up your id so that your aid can start your app can start showing aid and thanks for watching this video